Hey guys, Lachlan here from Cowboy for Game, and just real quick before we start the video, something like 80 percent of the people watching this right now aren't subscribed so if you do enjoy our content please make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the bell really helps us out and on with the video hello Brad hello so I wanted to show off today I wanted to show you specifically my Yosenji deck list because this is a deck you care a lot about a little bit <laughs> um so basically the idea of this Yosenji list is to go second. You blind second with it. Blind second with no kaijus, that's pretty brave. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need kaijus. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so essentially, uh, we'll run you through the deck list real quick. Chuck this up here. Um, three dimension shifter. Well, that definitely helps. If you can run this, this is the best hand trap in the game. Unfortunately, I know of two decks that can run this. What's that? Oh, I know a deck that runs this. Yeah, bad question. Um, well, I mean, what else can run this, really? This deck sort of abuses it. Just bounces back to hand. Any card that goes to grave is going to get... Like, has no effect anyway. Like, there's nothing in here that cares about grave. Oh, this one. But that's just discard anyway. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Three Dimension Shifter. Three Mayo Senju. Does that. Despite everyone telling me this is not a Yosenju card, it is. You can search it. Yeah. Um, uh, Mayo Uh Hutot. You, you've read this card, yeah? No. Okay. okay. So essentially, you know Dieback, right? Yes. From back in the day. Yes. Dance 2 can't be negated. Um, he taught. Just a little. Uh, so basically, if you have two He Tots, you've got a 3 scale and an 11 scale. He taught can target one Yosenju card in your Pendulum Zone, including itself. The rest of the turn, its pendulum scale becomes 11. Hmm. You can't special summon monsters except your Senju. Oh, yeah. Which I think is fair. Having that extra scale there really makes this deck a bit more good. Yeah. Um, basically, when it's summoned, it's like half of dieback. It just bounces one. Only 2,000 attack for a level 10 monster, too. Which I think is probably going to be one of the lowest attacks in a level 10 monster, right? Mm. Oh, I guess it's that drain card. Yeah, but... Um, anyway. Uh, bounces one. Each time a card on the field is returned to the hand or main deck by card effect, while this card is on the field, all your Senju monsters you control gain 500. Jesus. So it comes So right it goes like... Well, that's why it's a tax lot. Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, Chainlink 3, Chainlink 4. Yeah. Well, Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2 on resolution. This as well. Yeah. If you just resolve this, and you have one other level 4 on the field, this, this, one other level 4, it's an OTK. Yeah. Um... Which I think is incredible and very abusable. Um, Gamma, once again, I think it's not run as much as it should be. Yeah, as well as it's a hand trap that doesn't end on, in the graveyard, so that helps a lot. Yeah, exactly. Plus, like, you know, you'll resolve extravagance a bit more. and Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, Isna. Have you ever heard of this card? Yes, I have. Basically, it's a discard all your monsters, uh, their effects... Uh, this turn, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when another Yosenji monster is not worth their summon. Yeah. Or if you control another Yosenji monster, you can just draw a card. Mm. Banging. <laughs> Are they banging talking? the video people? Um, one Yosenji card, one. Because <laughs> you got to show respect to the OG. This card's good, but it's just a bit slow. Yeah. Um, but it's fine to combo off these two. Just normal, you know. Um. Sabu. Sabu. This card, basically, if you control any other Yosenju card on the field, when it's normal summoned, add a Yosenju Pendulum Monster from the deck to the hand. It's got a second effect that no one uses, but it would be interesting to try to make it work. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll have a look. Yeah. Um, two yeah. Shinchu L, two Shinchu L. Yeah, so two and... Two and two, yeah. uh, for reasons that become relevant in a second. Uh, three Tanky. Uh, three Lightning Storm. <laughs> Three extravagant, so this is a budget build. Three Roshi channeling. Um, you know Dynamis Howling? Yep. This is that. Except it's a spell card. And what does Dynamis Howling do for everyone? It like places it? scales in one card. <laughs> it's pretty good. Uh, yep. It's a spell card, so it's even better. So yeah, it'll place uh, Shinchu L and Shinchu R. That's where you run two or two, because if you draw one, it needs to place both of them. Yeah. You draw one. Also, in the next, in your opponent's end phase, they'll be destroyed. 
Or you can add a level 5 or higher to your redrawn up, right? Yep, and this is also not once per turn. So if you draw 3 of this, this is an OTK. Plus 1. Yep. It's free. It's so damn free. Yeah. Uh, 3 Imperm, mm -hmm. 1 Yosemite Sword Skin, which is dieback of turn. Oh, yeah. You just reveal 2. God, this deck seems really two. annoying. It is incredibly but annoying. But at least you got the win con as well with the 2 monsters for damage. It definitely has more of a win con than... Your Senji used to have. Do any of your extra deck monsters come up at all? Scrap Golem. A uh, Scrap Dragon, sorry. Oops. Your favourite card. Yeah. Oh, I just realised I moved the mic. Well. Uh, <laughs> we are professionals. <laughs> um, Omega, just in case you some. These are just. You can get them off the field so yep. you can still activate this. Draw is free. Cowboy's Cowboy. Gallant can search out the scales. Yeah. Uh, or Nibiru. Um, if you can run Hidori, you run yeah. Hidori. And no other deck can. Yeah. Um, Tornado Dragon. Grab Controller is pretty damn cute. Yep, yeah, so you summon up Chidori, bounce something, then grab Controller, put Pyro Phoenix back. Yeah. Um, side deck's pretty stock standard, really. Uh, three Nibiru. Uh, this hurts you. Like, this does hurt you. Yeah. Uh, you got Secret Move. But you have got to do it. Um, Cosmics, Twin Twisters, because this deck loses heavily. To, this is the same thing as always. Your Senji loses to back row. Yeah. Um, three evenly, three secret room. If you just slide them in for probably this, if you go in first. Yeah. Um, and then just try to get one of these in the scale, and it's a it's a judgment. Yeah. Um, you're not tempted to run like anything else to help you with going first, just in case you get. I kind of want to get rid of these maybe and put in like strikes. Or something. Yeah. Or, uh. Judgment, maybe. Yeah, judgments double actually, down. probably. Just double down on judgments. You don't need life points in this deck. Because your life is. It's a. It's a resource that doesn't matter until all of it's healed. Well, that's just general Yu Gi Oh! And life. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want to see me go through, maybe play some duels with this, let us know. I think this deck is. I think it's a little underrated at the moment. Like, you look at the stuff it can run. Like, it can run any hand trap in the game. I think Dimension Shift is definitely carrying a bunch of those hands. We'll it uses out. it well. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thank uh, leave a like. Yeah, as we said at the start of the video, subscribe. Do what Terry Crews said. Yeah, this is a Terry Crews one. No, <laughs> Lachlan, sorry. <laughs>